on to Valdine. Today we are doing a makeup tutorial of the Soul and Mark collection from ColourPop. This is their brand new summery collection. And also we're doing swatches of everything, including the liquid lips, which are their ultra blotted formula, which I have never tried before. I don't know why I decided I was going to finally give these a try in this video. So that'll be at the end. And I am going to be doing one look her eye. This is not like my last video where I did the same color placement per eye. Here, let me open these up um, while I talk. Um, so I'm not going to do the same color placement challenge with this collection. I'm just going to do two different looks and we'll zoom in on each. This is the Soul palette, <gasps> which came broken. You guys can see that. I think you guys can. That shade is completely shattered. I am going to have to re- press that and I now have that color all over my bed. Wonderful. So I need to repress that shadow. Which is fine. I have this up to repress it. Uh, we'll try it before and after I repress it. I went to pictures after I did do the repressing. Wonderful. That shadow is all over my bed now. <laughs> my comforter is just covered in shadows that are broken. Not good. Alright, this is the Mar palette. Let's take a guess. Will it be broken? I'm gonna open it this way. It is not. It is not broken. That is the first palette I've ever had it's broken. So, the broken palette, which I'm not gonna open right away, this one reminds me a lot of the Burgundy palette from Kelly Cosmetics, and this one reminds me of the Blue Honey palette, which I haven't tried either of those because um, I don't buy things from Kelly Cosmetics. I think they're way too expensive. What they are when you get color pop that has the same quality for less. So yeah, we try out these ones. I'm gonna go into swatches right now on my arm, and then we'll repress that one shadow that's in this one. I can show you guys how I do that, and then we will go into the tutorial. All right, hey guys, in my bathroom, so that I can repress this little palette when it's done. So I'm gonna need to fix the light balance, but these are all the shadows of the Mar palette. We're gonna do the swatches of these. I'm gonna do it similar to how I did a different palette. I can't think of the name of it. Where I just go like this and show you guys. So let me just, and it's just gonna be like this one, two, three, and swatch straight to my arm. So no primer, nothing. So let's get into the swatches. Hello. Well, that, that palette, that pan is spinning. Interesting. Where is it? This one? This one? Now I'm going to go back and forth on just a few times. Okay. I don't think you guys can see that at all. So there's row one. All swatchy swatchy. Let's do the next row. Hi. There's the next row. That row right there. Now let's do the third. I don't like that. And there is the final row. There's the entire palette. Let's go to Soul. Okay, now for the Soul palette, which again, that shadow is completely busted. So I'm gonna need to clean up the palette and we will repress it. But let's turn off with some swatches. Hi guys. One, two, three. Just like that. I'm gonna try getting a good amount there. And then three. I'm gonna leave room for this swatch for after the repressing. So that's what that row can I get my arm and where it's in focus. That's what that row looks like when it has been swatched and that is a spot for where I'm gonna repress, which I'm gonna do right now. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take 
hyperpersonal alcohol. This is 91%. I would recommend 99%, but I only have this this one that came in my drugstore. It does work perfectly fine, but just so you know. Um, then I'm going to pour some in here. I'm going to crush up just a little bit more, put it in here, clean up the rest of the palette, see if I can get any more of that shade back into here, and then I'll repress it. So I'm going to put you guys right here. And you can see what the process. You guys get this out of the other one, so. It's not affecting those. Okay. I clean up that edge as much as I can. Okay. This just helps with the reprocess pressing if you break it up a little bit more. You move it. Okay. Oh no, that one the wrong one. Dang it. Okay, that should be good. Normally you should take these out, but I did not. Okay. Just gonna soak up some of that extra excess there. Not repressing it. Alright, this is malleable. Now, just a note, when I'm about to re-swatch this, this is still wet from the alcohol. I should honestly wait a day before doing this, but we're going to do it now anyways. But just so you know, you should wait a day after repressing. So, one, two, three. Still got the product. I'm going to put that on my arm. And there it is, swatched next to the previous one. So they look identical. No difference in the swatch. But again, that one is wet. So it could have changed just ever so slightly because this is not 99% alcohol. So let's go to the rest. Alright. Second row. One. I don't like that turns. Two. Three. So here's the second row. That is the right order. From that way to that way. Now, final row. Hey, two. Hey, two. <sighs> Looks like I grabbed some of that middle shade there. I got mixed in with this guy's because there's a little shimmer. Because that's supposed to be a matte. But there is all of the swatches for the Soul palette and repressing out that one shade shade that broke. So let's go back and we'll do some reviews slash looks with this palette. Okay, so those are the swatches of the two palettes. The Soul palette is back together again, as you guys saw. Um, I shouldn't be honestly using this shade, just since it has been less than 24 hours and the alcohol could disturb my eyes. Uh, the other ingredient in that one, in my the 91% alcohol, is just purified water. So it shouldn't tamper with the formula too much, but it always could. That's why you should use 99% alcohol if you have it. Okay, so let's get into trying out the palettes. I'm going to try Soul on this side and Mar on this side. I'm not trying to make a cohesive look. I'm just doing two different looks. Um, due to the fact that in the last video, when I did the editing, I noticed that my camera fails to autofocus if I have a mirror in front of me and it's zoomed in. I'm going to keep you guys at a distance just so that doesn't happen. Um, I did have some makeup on but I had removed it earlier so I need to fix that up. So if you guys are wondering what's going on with my eye, it's just because I don't have makeup better. Um, I'm going to start off with this sh shade right here which is called Swarbe. Just gonna take that on a Luxie brush, so it looks like this. And my tap path excess. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
it around. Dip in one more time. Get the pigmentation to match both inside and outside. There we go. That's what I want to do there. Um, next, I'm going to go in to, I think, this shade right here on a Luxie 207 brush. This palette only has three matte shades. Only oh, there's kind of have a shimmer to them. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not my favorite. And yes, I know it doesn't look good right now. We'll fix it. Now back in with that Morphe brush and some more Sherbet. Oh, that shade I just put on was Eel Ray. If you guys are curious, this does create like a weird muddy line. Also, so I don't know how I'm doing the editing right now, just in case I accidentally muted it out or got rid of it somehow. These shadows do turn in the pan, which is the first ever ColourPop one that has done that from my recollection. I'm going to take some top down on a flat elf C brush. I'm going to build that up over here. Kind of, There's a bald spot, and I don't know if it's the pigment or just how I applied things. So I'm going to apply that over here. I'm just not liking how the blue marries with the... The kind of terracotta shade. So I'm gonna try blending it away. Loose and dark brown. I take just a Morphe brush and blend. Blending everywhere. I grab some more of that Eel Ray just on the blending brush and kind of blend it into the brown. So I like that look. A lot now. Okay, that, that saved it. That saved it. Okay. That's kind of what I wanted. Uh, next, I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is called Gridlock. This one doesn't turn. I did not set that one turn. It's such a pretty shade. I'm really liking that. That's looking good. Uh, just in case your finger, I'm gonna grab look for my wipe. Grab my finger. Grab my hands and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which I think is called Highway. Yeah, it's working. Which is this a very nice pre shade. Pixie! Put that there. We'll clean that up. I dare you do a concealer anyways, because I got rid of it earlier. I take the makeup wipe. I'm just full of gear with the concealer that was there. As you can see. Uh, just to temporarily help. I'm just doing this. This is a clean brush. Um, next. In a weird mood, I want to take this shade, which I think is boozy, 
I don't like how the, pa the pants move in the palette. I've never had a color from palette that's done that, and that is bothering me. I take that underneath the lower lash line. Just like that. Now I'm going to grab a ColourPop eyeliner, and this is the shade Dirty Talk, which is kind of a goldy shade. I'm going to pop that in my waterline real quick. Alright. I really grab my concealer at this point, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take that C brush from earlier and that dark chocolatey brown shade. Put that on the outer corner. Alright, next, just for the inner corner, I'm going to take this shade, which. Maybe that one's Eel Ray and this one's Detour. I don't know. I'm going to take this kind of shade here. Fixie, calm down, honey. I'm going to take this shade and put it right here. I'm liking this look a lot. Alright, so that's that eye. I'm going to go do concealer and fish up the eye with some eyeliner and whatnot. And we'll be right back and we'll start on the, the sole side. But here is the bar. Alright, now we're going to go in with the sole palette and do this eye. I just decided to do just um, mascara and a very, very, very small line on top. You can't really see it, which I actually really liked how it turned out. So let's see how this side goes. Again, I really should not be using this shadow, so I'm going to be avoiding it as much as possible, even though I really like this one. But just since I just put alcohol on it, that would irritate my eyes. And I'm not looking for irritated eyes. So I'm going to start out with this shade, which I think is New Digs. There is a bit of kickback to the shadow. But that could just be that my palette got knocked around a bit in the mail. So, there is that. As I mentioned earlier, this is the first time I've ever had a palette come to me from ColourPop that was broken. So I don't know. This is also the first time I've ever done this packaging. So I don't know if it was the pa this packaging, like this component that broke it, or it just got tossed around too much in the mail. Um, next, I'm going to go in with this shadow, which is O. And then there's a star. I don't know what the star's for, but bring it up. Oh, I deepen up this crease. Uh, there was another color. I thought this was. I should have tested this brush. This was not a clean brush, so it's more red than the shadow is. I don't think of what shadow I recently used that was this vibrant red with this brush. I can't think of one. Um, I'm going to go with the shade now, which is, I think, Dynamite from Walkie Brush. And see if I can't bring that red tone down. To more of that orange that I want. I'm going to go in a little bit more with that first shade. And I'm not trying to make the two sides match, if you guys are wondering. I'm literally just doing two separate looks. Um, next, I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. brush. Just kind of a bloody brush. And take this red shade here. This is not a good brush for like shimmers, but I don't want like a very vibrant shimmer yet. We will build it up. I just kind of want to marry it with that previous red. Okay, now I'm going to take my finger and go with this shade on right here. I think it's floaties. Don't like how the pans move. That's like my one complaint about this palette so far. 
The shadows have been lovely. The turning of the pants, however, is driving me nuts. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this shade on my finger, which is Motel. I just wanted to start off with the brush, kind of blend it. Then I'm just going to build my finger. Kind of doing a halo. With this eye. I can have that inner portion right there. It is going to take off my concealer, so I'm going to do that, but I'm okay with that. Okay. Next, I'm going to go with this dome brush and this shade right here, which I think is Unwind. I'm going to build up this outer portion here. I'm going to take that same color under my lower lash line. I'm going to take this C brush, which is a clean one. I'm going to go in with this shade. I really like that shade. Pop that in the middle here. I'm going to bring it towards the center. Like that. Well, actually, it's really all over. Um, next, I'm going to grab my concealer, clean this up underneath, and I'll be right back. Next. I'm going to take this kind of smallish brush here, and then I'm going to go in with this shade, which I think is B&B, &B, like bed and breakfast, but then the inner corner. Right up here, and then I'm going to put that underneath here. I'm going to give that shimmer up top. Alright, this, this look I think actually does call for wing. Um, I need to throw something in my wash, my wash, my, my, my lash line. I'm going to take this shade called Mina from Morphe and apply that. I'm going to bring that red in. I'm going to go finish up the set and then we'll be right back to do swatches of the ultra blooded look. Alright, and here is the soul side. I have a bit of gold. And I completely just wiped off all of that. Whatever. I'm trying to avoid using a beauty blender. Because these are brand new. But. We'll just have to clean them. Okay. Alright. Next. I'm going to do swatches of the three onto red lipsticks. Um, we're going to start off with this one. Which is the shade Ocean Avenue. I've never tried this formula. It's supposed to be like a sheer matte. I'm not going to let these dry down both in between swatches and then I'll apply just a little bit of foundation over top. There's Ocean Avenue. You can build it up or it really shears out. If you smack your lips, it does look a little patchy, but not bad. Okay, I'm going to take this one off and we'll go to the next. <laughs> Alright, next we have Soda Pop, which is supposed to be a plummy rose. There is Soda Pop. I think this one I got better at the applying. I didn't try layering it up. This is what it really does look like. Take this one off and we'll do the last one. Alright, so our last one here is the shade Vitamin C.
Okay, there is vitamin C. I'm not overall sure how I feel about the blood lips. You guys let me know down below what you guys think of them. I'm just... I like them, but at the same time I feel like they need to be more pigmented. But that's the purpose of these is to be sheer. So I don't, so I don't know if I'm just not into sheer. But that those are all three of the ultra blotted lips. And then let me guys know what you guys think of the Soul, Soul, and Mar palette down below. Give this video a big up, pause up, subscribe to the back, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!